YouTube, what's up? So everything is about arrangement. And the way you arrange your energy is has everything to do with your peace. So, of course, the first thing you want to put in your day, the first thing that you're going to follow is the Tao. Everything else follows it. So when you uh, misplace your energy into things like daydreaming, whether it's auditory or visual thought, it costs energy. It costs energy to daydream. That's, that's another reason why we're in these cities where you have all the EMF radiation and then you have all the radiation coming off of the, um, the power boxes. All that keeps you in your thinking. Because again, we're, we're in a chemical and electrical reality, so or electromagnetic, you want to call it. So different frequencies and waves and different um, parts of our body being vibrated in different ways brings about different thinking. And that all costs energy. It costs energy to think, it costs energy to visualize. So whenever you think about where you might go, where you might be, think about all these paths that you might take, all of that costs energy and it keeps you tired. Because if you follow the Tao, you know that there's only one way. There's a lot of ways to the way, but there's only one way. So it's um it's it's that simple. You don't have you don't really you know the master knows that he has no will of his own. Personal will, because his true will is the will of God or the will of the universe, however you want to look at it, or her will, however you want to look at it. I don't want to make it um male or female thing, because the the void is uh not male or female. And uh that's where everything emanates from. So that's uh that's that's my main uh part of the video really is just it's just that we are in an environment that keeps us in our thoughts visual and auditory and that keeps us uh tired because again it costs energy to think people are forgetting that they're thinking because they haven't completed their thoughts visual and auditory people haven't completed them so that they forgot that they've been thinking for hours or years not completing because you know they have indigested food in them it's again the metaphysics linking to the physical when things are indigestible in the body and organs can't breathe, then you can't fully think and you can't fully feel and nothing is completely done. So then you just stay in a rut until you finish. And people have to know how to, to be less or what people call blessed to be less. And that's just that's just humility. You know, like the same thing with with uh, the Tao Te Ching. Like they say, all rivers flow to the ocean because the ocean is below it. It's the same thing. It's just allowing and then um, not allowing in the sense too, you know, not allowing yourself to be um, abused or, or valued, quantified, however you want to look at, you know, that because if you don't allow it by removing yourself, because again, reduction is production, negation is creation, remove you to produce you. The one whole had to reduce itself into fragments to experience experiences. So it's um it's about reduction it's about uh finding ways to need less because you can ultimately always want more and uh, with oneness how could you ever need anything because it's all inside you the millions of dollars the the opposite sex or whatever you are coveting it's all within you so it's about how to rearrange the table to um for your value system, Re rearrange the pyramid. You know, you got the base of the pyramid on the top or however you got it right now. That's because it's the same thing. The breath is paramount. The breath causes everything else. So then you go from breath.